Am I the only one who got some chills while watching the trailer of Tokyo Revengers live action movie? Tokyo Revengers. From each character visual to the live presentation of every anime and manga scene. Obviously, they spotted on. It already feeds our eyes with what we are anticipating. How much more if we finally see the entire film? The pressure is so intense since millions of anime and manga fans have their eyes on this adaptation. In this video, we will discuss the flow of its story, based from Ken Watui's original work. This will also serve as a guide on how to manage our expectations for this movie. Wakui's manga, Tokyo Revengers got a live-action adaptation produced and distributed by Warner Brothers Japan. This is in the direction of Tsutomu Hanabsa known for directing popular school theme and rom-com Japanese movies such as Kakagurui, Haro and Shikaku, High School Debut, Tori Girl, 3D Girl, Grand Blue and many more. The story follows a frustrated part-timer young man named Hanagaki Takamichi. One day, Takamichi learns from the news about his middle school ex-girlfriend, Hinata Tachibana. Died along with her brother, Namto. It is suspected that they were killed by Tokyo Manji Gang. Next day, someone pushed Takamichi from the station's platform and suddenly transport. Back into the past, where he meets his old Yankee friends Akin, Kazushi Takuya, and Makoto. It so happened that they encounter Kiyomasa's gang. Unfortunately, they get defeated and turn out to be Kiyomasa's slaves. Takamichi get a chance to see Hinata once again and she gives him some encouragement. The present time changed when he meets young Namto in the past. Now, Namto is already grown up and became a detective in an organized crime department. He asks Takamichi to save his sister Hinata. Takamichi must stop Manjiro Esno and Kaseki Teta from meeting each other because these two changed Tokyo Manji gang into a crime organization. When Takamichi leap back to the past, it is exactly the most tiring moment for him and his friends under Kiyomasa's supremacy. Then Takamichi learns how to stand on his own and stops running away. While the underground fight is ongoing, the vice president of Toman interrupts the duel. That is the first time when Takamichi meet Ryaguji Ken also known as Draken and the Toman's president Manjiro Esno also known as Mikey. From that moment Mikey started to build friendship with Takamichi. Mikey told Draken and Takamichi that he is going to make a new era for delinquents. Based from the original story, a conflict arises between Toman and its rival gang Mebius. When they heard from Mitsuke, one of Toman's founding member, that Asanai the leader of Mebius gang fought with one of Pa Chin's friends. So Toman planned a battle against the Mebius gang. When Takamichi returns to the present time, he learned from Namto that Draken died and his death has made Mikey changed. Now he has more reason why he needs to change the past and protect everyone who is dear to him. This adaptation is definitely worth watching. Looking forward to all the actors playing their respective parts. Aside from Asanai, Kasaki Teta and Han Mashuji are the main antagonist, however they might show up for limited time. Nevertheless, I'm quite certain that there will be a little twist on their respective scenes just to show how dangerous they are as a foe. This gonna be lit especially the battle of Toman against Mobius. Though the battle scene was filmed in an abandoned warehouse instead of in a parking area. If there would be a movie sequel, I guess they will be covering Valhalla's arc in which the story doomed to be much darker and more intense. Alright, that's all for now folks. Share your thoughts on the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. Kindly hit the notification bell for more Japanese drama and movie updates. Till next time. Thanks for watching.